Hey guys, it's Dr. Jay here. Welcome back. In this video, we will look at how to write some JavaScript, which will help us to execute the code on these buttons. And we will be able to have some interactivity on our web page. Previously, we created um, buttons, uh, we created labels, we had a text box. Um, and this was what we had previously. Uh, in this video, we will now take a look at how we can write some JavaScript. So let's jump straight into this. I'm going to change my view in Code Pen. And for the first video, we want to we want to add some interactivity to this button. In other words, when I click on the change color button, this particular H3 heading, welcome to components, should change to the color red. So I want to keep it very simple and basic. Uh, you will recall in the HTML code, we've got an H3 tag that says welcome to components. And we created this button and the button had an ID, uh, which will, you will see will allow us to link to, uh, uh, to the particular button. So in order for us to now write the JavaScript, the first line of code is where we create a variable. So here I'm creating a variable. The variable is called my button. I could call it any name I choose to. Uh, here I'm calling it my button, but this is the important part on this end. Here we, you will notice uh, we use the attribute get element by ID. And the ID we're obtaining links to this particular ID for the button, which is called IDs my button. So the my button, I'm creating a variable and I happen to call it the same name. My variable name is also called my button. So every time I refer to this variable, I am actually coding for this particular button. The next line of code is where I now create a link to the H3 tag. And you'll notice the H3 tag does not have any ID. So we use the attribute query selector. And the selector here is H3. So that's the selector that I'm linking to. And I'm creating this variable called H3. And when I refer to this particular variable H3, I'm going to be referring to the H3 tag. The next is the functionality for the button. So when I click on the button, you will notice that it changes to red. Some functionality happened. And it's this code here that's creating that functionality. Let's interrogate this code and see how it works. So the first line here is my button. Remember, my button is my variable. That's the variable. And for that, my button, I've got an add event listener attribute. Now, as the name suggests, it's a listener. It's waiting for something to happen. In this case, it's waiting for the button to be clicked. So the listener here is waiting for a click event to take place. The add event listener has two parameters. The first is the event, and the second is what's going to happen when that event triggers. So in this case, we have a function, and this function is going to perform some task. And this is the start of the function with the curly uh, with the curly braces, and we've got a closing curly brace, which is the end of the function. And inside, we are referring to the h3. h3 is that variable, 
and we are using the attribute style color and we are changing that. We are setting it equal to red. So when the click event takes place, then this function will execute. And that's exactly what happened here. When I clicked on the button, this text changed. It changed to red. So through the JavaScript that we have written, uh, it has helped us to create this interactivity uh, in terms of changing the color for this heading to red. And that's what we're going to be doing now. We're going to be uh, coding using JavaScript. And the JavaScript is going to help us to do particular tasks. So in this video, I just wanted to show you how to code a particular button. In the next video, we will look at how to take the value from this particular text box. And when I click on the Greet Me button, it will then display a greeting for the name that you captured here. Till the next video, take care, bye.